Hello friends, in the last video we have started the very important chapter trigonometric functions. In the class 11th, we are studying trigonometric functions with the help of standard unit circle and all the important result related with standard unit circle and trigonometric function we have seen in the last video. What we have seen that a point lies on the standard unit circle. At that time, value of its x coordinate is the value of cos theta and y coordinate is the value of sin theta. Using this result, now we are going to prove fundamental identities. These identities even you have studied in class 10 but now we are going to prove it with the help of standard unit circle. So all of you are most welcome to my YouTube channel Maths by Samit Deshmukh. So observe the first identity which is the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Second identity is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 6 square theta and third identity is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos square theta. So let us try to prove this identity. So here we have considered one standard unit circle with center O. Since it is a standard unit circle, so its radius is equal to 1. We have taken a point P having coordinate x, y on this standard unit circle. And here we are supposing that this OP, OP makes angle theta with the positive direction of x axis. Then the result which we have seen, we are writing those results. What we have seen that sine theta, sine theta means value of what? Y coordinate cos theta is equals to cos theta means what x coordinate once the coordinate of a point on the standard unit circle is known to us so we, know, we have already proved that x coordinate means cos theta and y coordinate means sin theta once the value of these two trigonometric ratios are known to us we are able to find out value of all remaining trigonometric function using interrelation between trigonometric functions. So what is tan theta? Tan means sine upon cos. Sine upon cos means what we will get here? Y upon x. Once the values of these three trigonometric ratios are known to us, by taking the reciprocal, we are able to find out value of remaining trigonometric function. So what is sine theta? Sine theta is y. So which implies that cosec theta is equals to 1 upon y. So if cos is x then it's reciprocal sec. Sec theta will be equals to 1 upon x and here value of tan theta is y by x which implies that cot x is equals to cot means reciprocal of tan means reciprocal of y by x means x by y. In this way we, are, we have got the values of trigonometric function. Now let us uh, observe this figure very carefully. Can I say that here OP, OP is nothing but radius of this circle. So here we can say that OP is equals to, OP is equals to radius. So therefore OP is equals to, since the circle is standard unit circle, so we can say that radius is equals to 1. So which implies that OP square, if we are squaring both sides, what is square of 1 will be equals to 1. Now we are finding distance between these two points applying distance formula. So coordinate of point P are X and Y and we know that coordinate of origin are 0, 0. And if coordinate of two points are known to us, then distance between these two points can be find out as what? Applying distance formula. What is that distance formula? Under root x2 minus x1 whole bracket square plus y2 minus y1 whole bracket square. But here not necessary to write under root because already we have taken square on both sides. OP, if we are considering OP, at that time we have to write down under root. But we have taken square of OP means root will get eliminated. Means what result we will get? x2 minus x1 means what we will get here x minus 0 whole bracket square plus y2 minus y1 means y minus 0 whole bracket square. This is the value of op square on the right hand side keep 1 as it is. So x minus 0 will be equal to x so x square and here y minus 0 will be equals to y square is equals to 1. So therefore I am replacing x by its value. What is the value of x? x means cos theta. x means cos theta means x square will be equals to cos square theta. y means sin theta so y square means sine square theta on the right hand side one keep it at it let us denote this equation by equation number first which is nothing but our first required identity that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equals to 1. Now once the first identity is proved easily we are able to prove the remaining two identities also. So if we are dividing both sides to the equation number first divide both sides, both sides 
of equation first by by cos square theta let us see what result we will get if we are dividing both side by cos square theta so cos square theta upon cos square theta will be equals to 1 plus sin square theta upon cos square theta will be equals to tan square theta because we know that sin theta upon cos theta means tan so sin square upon cos square will be equals to tan square and on this side 1 upon cos square will be equal to what sec square theta because 1 upon cos means sec so 1 upon cos square means what sec square theta in this way we have proved the second identity third identity to prove the third identity divide to this equation both side both side by sin square theta to prove the second identity we are dividing both side by cos square to prove the third identity we are dividing both sides so divide both sides of equation first by by sin square theta let us see what result we will get if we are dividing both side by sin square theta so this is the first term if i am dividing by sin square so cos square upon sin square cos upon sin is cot so cos square upon sin square will be equal to cot square then sin square upon sin square will be equal to 1 and on this side 1 upon if i am dividing this side by sin square 1 upon sin square will be equal to what cosec square theta just we are using interrelation so we know that 1 upon sine is cosec so 1 upon sine square will be equal to cosec square so cot square theta plus 1 can also be written as what 1 plus so that is 1 plus cot square theta will be equal to cosec square theta and this completes the proof of our last identity 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. In this way we have proved our all three important identities. Simplifying this identity let us see what important result we are getting here. So first important result we are getting that is the value of sin square theta. So from this expression what is the value of sin square theta will be equals to 1 minus minus cos square theta then let us try to find out value of cos square theta cos square theta will be equals to this cos square take sine on this side so plus sin square theta on this side will become minus sin square theta so what result we have got here sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta then which is our third trigonometric ratio tan tan square theta so let us try to find out value of this tan square so plus 1 on this side will become minus 1 means tan square theta will be equal to sec square theta minus 1 then fourth identity is what cot square theta so let us try to find out value of cot square theta so to find out cot square theta just simply shift plus 1 on this side plus 1 on this side will become minus 1 means will be equal to cosec square theta minus 1 then see the next identity next trigonometric ratio is 6 6 square theta will be equals to already the value of 6 square theta is known to us which is equal to 1 plus tan square theta and the next trigonometric ratio is cosec cosec square theta is equals to so value of cosec square theta is also known to us 1 plus cot square theta in this way we have got the values of squares of all trigonometric functions now what is the value of sin square theta 1 minus cos square theta cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1 cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta minus 1 sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta and lastly cosec square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta again this after that you should have to remember some important result which you are getting from this identity whose right hand side is 1 what is that first already first identity says that sin square theta plus cos square theta will be equals to 1 now here right hand side is equal to 1 from this expression see what we are getting this plus tan square if I am shifting on this side on this side it will become minus tan square and what result we will get sec square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 so again remember this result sec square theta minus tan square theta will be equals to 1 and lastly 
the ninth important result which you are getting simplifying these three important identities so again cot square on this side will become minus cot, minus cot square so what we are getting on the right hand side cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to remaining term on this side is one so you have to remember this result also cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equals to one in this way we have seen three important identities and also the important result which you are getting from these identities. So this result we have to use while solving the examples. Now let us try to prove the formulas to find out values of trigonometric functions of negative angle. So this is one of the very important result which we have not studied in 10th standard. So here we are discussing some important formulas to find out values of trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios of negative angle. So if theta belongs to R then we have to prove that value of sin minus theta is minus sin theta, cos minus theta is cos theta tan minus theta is tan minus tan theta, cot minus theta is minus cot theta, sec minus theta is sec theta and cosec minus theta is minus cosec theta and already uh, I have told that every result in class 11th we are going to prove with the help of standard unit circle. So here also we have considered one standard unit circle with center O. So let O be the center of standard unit circle. Now take a point P on this standard unit circle. We, have, we are denoting this point by P. So let P is one point on this standard unit circle whose coordinates are x, y. And I am supposing that this OP makes angle, OP makes angle theta with this positive direction of x-axis. So already these things we have written here, take point P on the circle such that OP makes angle theta with the positive direction of x-axis. Now try to understand the second important part which we are showing in this figure. Now we are taking a point P dash on this circle, take a point P dash on this circle such that OP dash also makes angle theta with this x-axis with positive direction of x-axis but here if you will observe direction of rotation this direction of rotation is clockwise and if the direction of rotation is clockwise at that time this angle is considered as what minus theta because it is made in what clockwise direction or we can say that direction of rotation is clockwise at that time angle is a negative angle now we are trying to find out coordinate of point P dash using the coordinate of point P. Here easily we can observe that here amount of rotation in both the cases is same. Here also amount of rotation is theta, here also amount of rotation is theta. Here angle is positive because direction of rotation is anti-clockwise. Here angle is negative because direction of rotation is what clockwise. Now here we can observe that x coordinate does not vary here, x coordinate is same but this is positive direction of y-axis and this is negative direction of y-axis by observing this coordinate here if this distance is 5 then this distance is also what 5 but this is positive direction that's why here we are getting positive value of y coordinate and this is negative direction of y-axis so that's why here we can say that y coordinate will be equals to minus y so this implies that coordinate of point P dash are x and minus y. Once the coordinate of point P and P dash are known to us, let us try to find out values of trigonometric ratios because these are the points on what? Standard unit circle and we are, we have studied some important result, uh, important result related with trigonometric functions and standard unit circle. So what we have seen here that if the point lies on standard unit circle at that time x coordinate is the value of cos and y coordinate is the value of sine. Here what is the angle theta at that time the coordinate of point P are x and y. So here y coordinate means y is the value of sine and x coordinate is the value of cos theta. So sin theta will be equals to y and cos theta will be equals to x. Also observe the figure very carefully. Let us denote it by equation number first and this by equation number second. Again P dash is also the point on the circle. So here also x coordinate is the value of what? Cos. Cos theta. But what is theta here? Minus theta. Means cos minus theta is x coordinate and sin minus theta is y coordinate. So here we can say that also uh, sin minus theta 
इज इक्वल्स टू साइन माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वैल्यू ऑफ वाई कॉर्डिनेट बट वैल्यू ऑफ वाई कॉर्डिनेट इज हाउ मच माइनस वाई डिनोटेड बाई इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री एंड वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस माइनस थीटा वेन एंगल इज माइनस थीटा एट दैट टाइम कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ अ पॉइंट ऑन द सर्कल आर एक्स एंड माइनस वाई एंड एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस सो मीन्स कॉस माइनस थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स कॉर्डिनेट मीन्स एक्स Let us denote this result say by equation number four. Once all these four equations are known to us, using this result, let us try to prove these formulas. So therefore, value of sine minus theta will be equals to what is the value of sine minus theta? Is minus y minus keep it as it is. Can I replace this y y by its value? What is the value of y sine theta? This value of y we are substituting from equation number first. Means this result we are getting using equation first. first and third isn't it in this way we have proved the first formula now observe the second formula uh, cos minus theta is equals to cos minus theta just we have considered this left hand side so its value is x but x means what cos theta so cos theta means here we can say that right hand sides are equal means left hand sides are also equal means cos minus theta is equal to cos theta this result we are getting from equation second and fourth once these two results are known to us we are easily able to prove the remaining formulas also so tan minus theta tan minus theta can i write it as sin minus theta upon cos minus theta yes we know that tan can be written as sin upon cos but what is the angle here minus theta so tan minus theta can be written as sin minus theta divided by cos minus theta just now we have proved that value of sin minus theta is equals to what minus sin theta minus sin theta and what is the value of denominator cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so keep this minus as it is and sin upon cos will be equals to what tan in this way what we have proved here tan minus theta is equals to minus tan theta then prove the next formula that is cot minus theta is equals to now again cot theta can be written as what cos theta upon sin theta in the same way cot minus theta can be written as cos minus theta divided by sin minus theta now what is the value of cos minus theta will be equal to cos theta and sin minus theta will be equal to minus sin theta so minus keep it as it is cos upon sin cos upon sin will be equals to what cot in this way what result we have got here cot minus theta is equal to minus cot theta then let us try to prove the next important formula that is sec minus theta sec can be written as 1 upon cos so sec minus theta can be written as 1 upon cos minus theta using interrelation between trigonometric ratio we know that reciprocal of cos is sec so which is equal to 1 upon but we know that cos minus theta is equal to cos theta so which is equal to again 1 upon cos can be written as what sec in this way we have proved the fifth important formula that sec minus theta is equal to what sec theta lastly let us try to prove the last means formula of cosec minus theta cosec minus theta can i write it as 1 upon sin minus theta yes we know that cosec can be written as 1 upon sin so which is equal to 1 keep it as it is we know that sin minus theta will be equals to minus sin theta so substitute its value minus sin theta so minus keep it as it is 1 upon sin will be equal to what cosec in this way we have proved all the six formulas to find out the values of what values of uh trigonometric ratios of negative angle let us consider that if you want to find out value of sin minus 30 so which can be written as here if angle is negative at that time we are using the trigonometric functions of negative angle so sin minus 30 can be written as minus sin 30 according to first formula that sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta so which is equal to don't disturb to minus minus keep it as it is we know that sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so what result we have got here cos minus 30 is equal to minus 1 by 2 means using trigonometric ratios of positive angle we are able to find out trigonometric ratios of negative angle but to find out the values of 
trigonometric ratios of negative angle you should have to know these important result here we can observe that in case of cos and in case of sec values are what positive and in the remaining cases we are getting what minus on the right hand side so remember these formulas applying these formulas uh, we are solving the examples from our first exercise in the next video but before that we will we will see how to find out the values of trigonometric ratios of various angle that part also we will discuss in the next video.